This is Hannibal from the HannibalTV.com and former Great North Wrestling Canadian champion, Quebecer Pierre Carl Ouellette, now known in Ring of Honor as PCO, defeated Roosh tonight or last night at uh, Ring of Honor's final battle pay per view, which I guess is their biggest pay per view of the year in theory. Uh, so PCO is the new Ring of Honor champion. So good for you. Congratulations for you. I hope that um, PCO's uh, reign is a long one and that business turns around for Ring of Honor next year. Uh, we did hear that the business <laughs> was not good this year as far as ticket sales go. PCO's contract, he personally had told me it was set to expire December the 1st. So this obviously means that he's re-signed with Ring of Honor. He told me before that his other contract was in the six figures. So he probably got another healthy contract. I know he has friends in AEW. So uh, Ring of Honor probably really wanted him to stay. So good luck to him. He's worked really hard uh, to get back in uh, the spotlight. Definitely, he's worked his ass off. Rudy Mata, Rudy Mata, sorry, says, holy shit, PCO is the champion. He's very happy about that. Not much else in the way of wrestling news. There was one thing I forgot to report in my Wrestling Observer review I did yesterday. CMLL the major promotion in Mexico had a robbery on December the 10th, one of two major promotions along with AAA, just to be clear on that. Uh, their box office was robbed at the Arena Puebla on December the 10th, the equivalent of $12,000 American was stolen. Also speaking of Mexico, my full shoot interview with Juventud Guerrera, who is my new least favorite shoot interview I ever did. He actually beat Carlito for that. Um, it's up at patreon.com slash the Hannibal TV, along with my Hillbilly Jim full shoot interviews, Sandman, Billy Jack Haynes. And he told the story. I posted the clip today. He was in a fight with Jack Evans, and I've known Jack Evans since the Matt Rats days. Haven't seen him in recent years, but he's one of the most laid-back guys ever. So how you could ever get Jack Evans mad enough to beat the shit out of you, you really have to be uh, a little bit of a asshole, I guess you could say. But, yeah, I, f I never heard about that fight. It was actually a fan question during the live fan stream portion of my shoot with Juventud Guerrera. But he also talked about a fight he had with Abismo Negro, who also apparently beat him, according to reports. But uh, one interesting thing, I've heard the name Abismo Negro. I actually looked it up to see what I could read up about that fight because I like to always research things people say. And he died really strangely. He was on a bus, the wrestling bus, in Mexico back in 2009. At 1.30 in the morning, he asked them to stop the bus in the middle of nowhere where he got out and apparently got lost and they found him the next day drowned. And we know that – I've never been to Mexico, but we've heard all the time that it's a little bit of a corrupt system there. But basically, this guy was found dead, a celebrity in Mexico. Uh, the official cause of death was drowning, and there was no further investigation done, according to the reports I read. So I found that very weird and tragic. Um, the last piece of news I'll say is Combate Americas, which seems to have a lot of money. They're putting on lots of events lately. They're doing an event in Puerto Rico. January the 25th in San Juan. So hopefully um, they draw better than the local wrestling promotion WWC has been drawing 
in Puerto Rico lately. They had a very small crowd for their December main events. I'll answer a couple questions. Um, someone's asking me a question I really don't know the answer to. Uh, who's going to take the strap off of Bray? I'm guessing Roman at WrestleMania. I I can't really answer that because I don't watch the TV show, but Bray Wyatt is the most – he's selling the most merchandise of anyone in the company from what I understand. So he's making them the most money in merchandise. So I can't see why they would take the title off him as long as he's so popular. Someone from Japan says, hello, hello. We have actually a lot of viewers in Japan from the Hannibal TV Mr. Captain Stuff says PCO is a better monster champion than Bray Wyatt. I've never met Bray Wyatt, but he seems, from what I know of him, the type of person I would get along with, and I've known PCO a long time, former roommates with him in Puerto Rico. Um, I would say they're both good champions. PCO is... Uh, really wants to prove himself after being blackballed for like over 10 years due to issues he had with the click. Um, and then even they screwed with him in later years. I suggest people watch my shoot interview that I did with PCO, uh, which by the way, he started his whole comeback in great North wrestling. A lot of great wrestlers have wrestled for great North wrestling, AJ styles, PCO, Jinder Mahal, Samoa Joe, many top wrestlers have wrestled for us. A um, couple more questions. The Real Frisco says, Jericho mentioned Juvie in a promo a few weeks ago. Yes, and Juvie definitely brought that up. Um, who, Juvie seems to be the type of guy that would probably try for a, for a match involving Jericho but on a regular night, he wouldn't put that much of an effort into a match. He strikes me as that type of a guy for the little bit I know of him. Uh, thanks for all the comments on here. There's lots of people commenting. I appreciate it. Uh, the next shoot interview I'm going to edit is the Snitsky interview, which I'm going to start right now. So have a good night, everybody. <laughs>